Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. It is a beautiful day today. Um, it's in the 20s, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. The sun is outside and shining and shining. And the snow is just gorgeous. Let me show you. There's my girls. Look at that snow. <laughs> the snow out here in the garden is about total one and a half to two feet deep. Uh, and this is since uh, mid-January, the total accumulation. So it is gorgeous out here. I'll try not to get the sun glare in on you because the sun's just over there. You can see the girls just enjoying the snow. They love playing in it. Autumn likes to eat it. What you girls doing? What you doing? <laughs> so yep, that's Andy. And this, this is Autumn. This is Flash. Hi, girly girl. So yeah, we're just enjoying the vitamin D that is very hard for us northern folks to get in the winter because uh, we don't get a lot of sunlight and so we don't get a lot of vitamin D. This is what the garden's looking like right now. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean it really really is. Just a nice blanket slate. There's Tiny joining his sister Flash. And then of course Smoke Bomb making her way. These are our three kittens. Uh, I just did a video about the kittens. Look at Tiny just working his way up there. He loves to climb. Oh, nope, sorry. That is Flash up there. Flash and Tiny are our two twins of terror, as we call them. And they look very similar, and uh, they can terrorize the yard and other pets. Um, it's more than just fun. They're they're really nice animals. And then smoke bomb. Uh, yeah. And when they all get feisty, we have the triplets of terror. So they're very, very precious. Very, very precious. They'll be three years old in May. So, and then Aunt Sarah, she's, she's in the, uh, she's in the porch right now. She doesn't want to come out in this snow. This is Aunt Sarah. She's up on the porch, staying out of the snow, and enjoying the sun. But she's the resident outdoor cat. She actually came with the house. So, but then our our girls. Andy loves to play, and sometimes that gets her in trouble with Autumn because, as a typical pesky sister, Autumn gets tired of dealing with her. Let's talk about how many seeds do we plant in our winter sowing containers. I'm going to answer that question right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So winter sowing, maybe you're new to it. If you are and you have no idea what winter sowing is, I will link a video on how to winter sow, which gives a very detailed explanation of what winter sowing is and how to do it. Um, I have quite a playlist that I'll uh, link to um, up above as well that you can watch about how to winter sow. And I also have a master playlist that kind of shows a whole bunch of different videos, including some reveals of successful winter sewing. I will uh, link the master playlist above. And all these links will also be in the description box below. Some of the videos are older uh, because I started doing the winter sewing uh, somewhere around 2015 or 16. 
I don't know exactly. Um, <laughs> but I only start videoing um, winter sewing as part of a backup log to my Facebook page I had at the time. And so I wasn't really worried about the quality of the videos per se, so they're quite raw. Um, but now we're getting better with the videos, so just bear with me as we go along. So, how many seeds do you sow per container? For demonstration purposes, we're going to be talking about gallon jug size, uh, which is generally what I use. Um, and I have a whole bunch of uh, jugs. I will show a picture here. I get lots of jugs because uh, we use lots of bottled water, distilled water. We have CPAP machines that we need to keep with distilled water, uh, coffee machines, and things like that. Uh, I have a soap making business, and I also make other bath and body products, so I use bottled or distilled water for that. So I have plenty of jugs, and I have friends who give me jugs, so I probably have about 400 to 500 jugs uh, hanging up in my um, garage and I go and save them year after year if possible. You'll see in the picture that some of them have been used and most jugs uh, I can get at least two years possibly three years depending on the quality of the plastic of uh, use before I actually have to throw them away. So it's a great way to reduce, reuse and recycle your plastics before they finally end up in the landfill. So again, we're talking about the gallon jugs, and this is the bottom of one that I used last year. Sometimes when you open them, the hinge uh, comes apart, and so you have a top and a bottom, and this is what this is. And so, um, you see I have soil in here, and um, you actually need more soil than this, but this is for demonstration purposes. Um, you would have your soil, and generally you want at least at least three inches of moistened soil. Dry soil takes a lot uh, more volume, but when you wet it down, it compacts. So once that soil is moist, you want it at least three inches. I do around four inches. Once you have that soil in place, then you put your seeds in. We do not follow the seed planting recommendations on this seed packet uh, because we are seeds starting in containers we're not planting them in the garden beds just yet so we do compact planting in our containers when you're planting you have to think about the size of the seedlings as they grow how big are they going to get what size do you see them at when you get them from the nursery if you've never grown them So when you think about all that, it kind of gives you an idea of when you're using a jug this size, how many plants can you fit in here. So for tomatoes and peppers and eggplants, which all about have the same size seedlings, I have a cat climbing on my greenhouse, um, you can fit about five of those plants in here. And it's going to be a tight fit as they grow, but they will be just fine until it's time to plant them. So um, if you ever looked at a six-sided dice um, and you see the five die pattern, that's kind of a cross, um, that's how we plant. We plant five um, plants in here, four, one in each corner and then one in the middle. And so that's for your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplants, plants that grow that size. For squash, squash gets pretty big pretty fast in the right environment. So for squash, I generally do uh, three, maybe four. It's easier to do four, but again, you have to watch how fast they grow. So I will do one in each corner for squash. 
uh, for corn and beans, things like that, that stay uh, relatively compact and narrow at first when they're coming up, especially corn. It's, it's a grass blade, you know, it grows straight up. I put nine, so I'll do a nine die pattern, just plant three rows of three. So that is for corn, beans, peas, uh, your legumes, uh, peanuts, uh, things like that. I do uh, in a nine pattern. For things like lettuces, brassicas, um, which are your your kale, your broccoli, your cabbage, kohlrabi, uh, your root vegetables like celery, uh, not celery, but um, carrots, beets, turnips, rutabagas, things like that that have a small footprint as far as foliage. I just sprinkle seeds across the top. Onions, the same way. I just sprinkle the seeds across the top. Herbs, the same way. I just sprinkle seeds along the top. And uh, cover with very little soil just so the seeds are in the dark. Uh, flowers, I do the same way. I just sprinkle along the top. Uh, a nice fine sprinkle. Um, if you have ever sprinkled flour on a surface to dust it or you know you, you sprinkle your salt uh, in food like that, that's kind of what we're talking about is a nice little sprinkle along the top so it's evenly distributed and it grows very well. I will post a picture of these types of plants that I really just sprinkled and they grow fine. Because the foliage itself has a very small footprint, um, and as it grows, you know, it stays compact and isn't damaged by being so tightly spaced. Then, when you go to plant them, you can uh, stretch them out a little bit. Cucumbers, uh, anything vining like that, your cucumbers, uh, those who can do loofahs uh, down south, um, same thing as this squash. I, I put four plants in things that get big so I hope that answers some questions on how many to plant in there basically use common sense and look at the size container and think about how big those those seeds seedlings get and uh, how many can comfortably fit in here it's going to be a very snug fit but uh, the length of time that they're in here they will be fine and um, you'll also see as time goes with your taller plants um, that they will actually start coming out of the top before you open them so you'll see uh, sometimes your sunflowers your tomatoes plants that start getting tall uh, peas sometimes depending on how long you've kept them in here before planting they'll start coming out of the top and it's perfectly fine as long as your plants are not yellowing and showing signs of stress, don't worry about them being snug as a bug in a rug. They are happy in here. I hope that gives you some information. If you have a specific question about a specific seed type that maybe I didn't cover in here, please comment below and I will answer that as quickly as possible so other people also can know how many seeds of that type to put in. I winter sow everything in here. Um, I don't do loofahs in here simply because in my zone, zone 5B, it's too cold for loofahs to grow big enough in order to get actual loofahs from them in my zone. So loofahs, if I actually wanted to grow them here in the northern climate, I have to start those inside because they need a very long hot season uh, in order to grow to full maturity to actually get the loofah sponge. I thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I ask that you please do so. That way you can follow me along on the journey with all the different gardening tips and homesteading things that we do here and kind of keep updated. Make sure you hit that notification bell. It'll help uh, you get notified on when I update my videos. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.